The uh, problem of indoor pollution is one that is uh, uh, underappreciated. Uh, essentially, uh, people who live uh, in the poor parts of the world, the poorest of the uh, of the lot, what they used to cook, uh, firewood, um, agricultural residue, uh, even dung from um, uh, cow. Uh, the problem is uh, when you use firewood to uh, cook, um, uh, the smoke from it has got a lot of uh, polluted um, um, uh, dust uh, that are carcinogenic and also lead to uh, uh, airway uh, uh, damage that actually kills uh, up to uh, 1.2 million people every year. 50% of them are children, uh, with 30% of them less than uh, five years of age. So what we've been doing is going to some of these uh, rural uh, communities to uh, educate them about the dangers of exposure to uh, firewood as an instrument uh, that they use to cook, to try and uh, minimize the exposure and uh, to also um, work on a mechanism of influencing policy in those local environments so that uh, people can have better constructed kitchen to uh, uh, minimize the exposure, uh, to um, also uh, assist in delivering uh, oven that actually burn more efficiently that would allow them to still use the uh, firewood which is all they can afford but without the exposure to the uh, indoor pollution that causes so much uh, damage uh, to the lungs and uh, all the associated uh, mortality. The grant will uh, underwrite uh, the cost of uh, providing these uh, more efficient stoves to many of the homes in this uh, rural community that we've actually uh, adopted to use as a test case. Anywhere you have uh, poor people uh, who don't have access to uh, electrical uh, power and uh, the cleaner gases that we use to, uh, to cook, um, uh, most of that, those are the people that are exposed. And usually when mom's cooking, the young child is usually with mom. So they have intimate exposure to the toxic fumes from this uh, uh, firewood or uh, biomass. Indoor pollution from biomass actually kills more people every year than HIV uh, and even uh, maybe even malaria. Uh, yet nobody uh, knows about it. So uh, if we can accomplish uh, bringing sensitivity or attention to uh, this problem, use it to influence policy and uh, help uh, people who uh, uh, are poor and otherwise would have no opportunity to uh, have uh, more efficient stoves, I, I think we would be very delighted. From the research perspective, we're actually going to be looking at indoor air quality. In each household, we're going to uh, measure uh, lung function in both uh, the mother and the child. And we're going to be collecting uh, samples of uh, blood and urine uh, to be able to determine um, uh, biomarkers of exposure and damage. The other thing we want to do from the scientific standpoint is actually to augment uh, the nutrition in uh, these uh, rural communities by supplementing some of the vitamins uh, in their diet with the expectation that that may actually protect them from uh, the damaging effect of exposure to the toxic uh, uh, pollutants. I'm very uh, grateful to the uh, Chess Foundation for uh, uh, giving me one of these uh, humanitarian uh, awards. I think um, uh, it speaks uh, well for the commitment of uh, the Chess Foundation to improving um, uh, respiratory health uh, globally, uh, because otherwise uh, the people in these uh, rural communities in Nigeria would not have access to my expertise. Uh, they would not have access to uh, the more efficient stoves and the educational materials uh, that we intend to use to uh, uh, improve education and minimize uh, exposure to these toxic fumes. The Global Health Initiative as, at the University of uh, Chicago uh, is a new uh, end endeavor and the goal is to uh, improve um, uh, health uh, globally through uh, uh, education, through collaborative uh, uh, initiatives, 
uh, sharing uh, the expertise that we have uh, at the University of Chicago to, um, uh, to the benefit of uh, the global community.